Congratulations goes out to Rafael Brandao. He is your 2024 Arnold Classic South America champion. And more importantly, he is on his way a direct route route to the Mr. Olympia event. He placed 10th, that's right, 10th, in 2022. And that was his Olympia debut. And he is so much better now, guys. Look for him to crack that. Well, maybe, maybe even top six. Oh, oh, the speculations. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Going to be very exciting. This was your top five at the Arnold Classic. And I have to say it was a fantastic event. You can see the two bookends there. They placed fifth and uh, fourth. It was Andre Carlio. I believe his, his last name's Carlio. Because I, I had a different guy in my prediction video it wasn't the right guy this guy took fifth and he got a little emotional and i don't blame him he probably didn't even think he was going to get into that pack but he got himself a trophy wow and the condition from behind he had the most strided glutes up there for sure i would suggest so yes congratulations andre william martin william martin gets uh, gets that fourth place position and the guy's solid. He brought in a good... He's big. He's got some good condition. Needs a little of this, a little of that. And, you know, he'll be he'll be placing better in the upcoming, the upcoming season. Now, good veto. Vitale Yugolnikov. He was a little bit upset with his third place finish. But you shouldn't be good veto. He did, he did so good on his pro debut. Think of the guys like Nick Walker... They don't, they don't win their pro debuts, and they go on to skyrocket in success. And this guy here, I'm telling you right now, he proved that he is uh, to be taken serious. And he's not just a flash in the pan, you know, slapstick. So hold your head up high. I could see that he was definitely upset, but he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be. And of course, Tony O'Burton gets that second place finish. And I know they were in Brazil, heavy Brazil fans for Rafael. But there was some shots, guys. There was definitely some shots. Tonio was cleaning house. And I honestly thought, I didn't know. I thought Tonio might get it. And I can't see too many people. Well, maybe down there. Was very heavy favorites of Rafael. But very close matchup, guys. And of course, taking nothing away from the champ. The champion himself, Rafael Brandeo. So, congratulations to all mentioned. Tony O'Burton, man, he did so well that I think he's. This was good for him going into the New York Pro. Nick Walker better be, be worried about this guy. I think, I think Brandeo was, to be honest. And is it just me? I might be just speculating on this conspiracy theorist. But was Rafael Brandeo not overly? Nice to Tonio. He kind of just shook his hand a little bit, and that's that's it. Should have been like, you know, it was a heck of a heck of a battle we just had on stage, but it just didn't seem like he was. Anyway, Tonio was worth the respect. Very nice, friendly fellow. So go go shake his hand again there, Brandale. But. Maybe I'm just joking a little bit, but not really. Brandale going to the Olympia. And look out. Top five. Look out your Andrew Jacks. Look out, everybody. Crizo, Crizo, my soul, my soul. The matchups we will have come Olympia time. Have a great one, guys.